Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, I'm happy to see you. Hello Aiden, hello Henry, hello Ava, I'm happy to see you. Hello Cammy. hello Julian, hello Lorenzo, I'm happy to see you. Hello Mason, hello Emily, hello Elise, I'm happy to see you. Hello Vienna. Hello, Sydney. Hello, Nora. I'm happy to see you. Hello, Penny. Hello, Leo. Hello, Miss Joey. I'm happy to see you. Thank you for joining me today. Today is my last video for our school year. I hope you have enjoyed the videos and all the art projects that went along with them. I had fun making the videos and sharing the art projects with you. So I hope you enjoyed that. We are gonna go on today with our usual circle time. First thing we do, we talk about the calendar. Do you remember what month it is? Of course you do. It's still the month of June. J-U-N-E -E spells June. Let's sing our months of the year song. Are you ready? January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. You remember how many months there are in a year? 12, right. And how many days are in our week? Seven. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good. What day is today? This is the day here, right here, the square. So we need to figure out what day of the week it is. Let's see. It's the beginning of the week, right? Sunday, Monday. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday, and the day before that was Saturday. And Saturday and Sunday is what we call the weekend. So we need to fill in some numbers for the weekend and the number for today. So let's start counting. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You got it. Saturday was the thirteenth. What number comes after thirteen? Fourteen, right. Yesterday was the 14th. Sunday was the 14th. And today is Monday. What number are we going to put on there? What comes after 14? 15. You got it. So that's going to go right there. So today is Monday, June 15th, 2020. And this is my last video, and we are going to graduate in two more days. Okay, so tomorrow is Tuesday. And then we are going to have our graduation on Wednesday. I'm so excited to see you all there. Let's go over our letters. This is the last time we're going to be doing this together. Are you ready? Hello, everyone. Echo's joining us, too. I'm going to miss you. Let's do our alphabet together. Are you ready? D, dog, duck. W, wind, w. D, van, v. U, up, up. Z, zebra, z. T, top, t. Y, yellow, y. A, apple, a. M, man, m. L, lamp, l. K, kaika. J, jug, j. N, nut, n. I, itch, i. H, hat, h. G, game, g. F, fun, f. C, cat, k. B, bat, b. Q, queen, q. P pan p. O octopus ah. Uh. S snakes. 
R rat er X fox X and E Ed eh. Welcome John. Let's play our missing letter game. What letter is missing? I am going to write lowercase letters today. So I'm going to start with the letter X. We're at the end of the alphabet here. X. Okay. I'm going to leave the next letter blank. The last letter of our alphabet is the letter Z. What letter is missing? Why? Oh, you got it. X, Y, Z. The last three letters of the alphabet. One. Let's do the first three letters of the alphabet. A, this will be easy. The missing letter after A, then comes C. Yes, that was easy, right? A, B, C, the first three letters of our alphabet. Give me one more. I'll do the next three letters. D. Missing letter. And an F. What letter's missing? The letter E. D-E-F. Good job. Yeah. And we're going to do a math problem with sandcastles. Okay. Here's Lindsay and Jacob again. And they're playing at the beach, building sandcastles. And Jacob, he built how many sandcastles? Let's see how many sandcastles Jacob built. One, two, three, four. Four sandcastles. How many sandcastles did Lindsay build? One, two, three, four, five. How many sandcastles were on the beach all together after they built their sandcastles? Well, how can we figure that out? We have to add them, right? So let's count all of them and see how many there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sandcastles on the beach. That probably would look really cool if there were nine sandcastles built on the beach, wouldn't it? So Jacob had four. Let's look at our math sentence. Four and Lindsay built five. So we added four plus five equals how many? Nine. Awesome job. I am going to read you a story today that was written by Dr. Seuss. The name of this story is Oh, the Places You'll Go. And this is a story about um, all the different places that people go in their lives. Right. So you're you're graduating from weekday. And this is a book that a lot of people read when they graduate from a school. So you're going to have a lot of graduations in your life. And your graduation from weekday is the first one. But you'll have many more because you have a lot of school to go through. You still have to go through elementary school and middle school and high school and college. So you have a lot of places to go in your life. You're only at the beginning. So I'm going to read this story to you. And there's a lot of nice rhyming in it. Dr. Seuss is known for his great rhyming stories. You ready? Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. 
you're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who will decide where to go. So many places to go. You'll look up and down streets. You'll look them all over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet. You're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people so brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you will go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar so high. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon be take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top of all the rest. You're flying away in hot air balloons. Except when you don't. Sometimes you don't. Because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, so, but sadly it's true, that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in the lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with the unpleasant bump and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. That happens sometimes. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to stay in? It's a confusing, could be a confusing time. How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left? Should you turn right or right and three quarters? Or maybe not quite, or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple, it's not, I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker upper to make up their mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space. Headed, I fear, toward a most useless place. Uh-oh. You could end up in a waiting place, just waiting to figure out what to do. That's okay. Look at all the people are waiting. They're just waiting. Waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or a no or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. You know what it's like to wait. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. We all have to wait sometimes. No. It's not for you. What are you going to do? Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the 
bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high. Ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball, well, will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame. You'll be famous as famous can be. With the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Can you imagine? Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, because you'll play against you. Sometimes we're by ourselves. Oh, all alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something. You'll be a lot, quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road because between hither and you, that can scare you so much, you won't want to go on. But you have to be brave. But on you will go because you are brave. Through the weather, though the weather be foul, on you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, through the hack and cracks howl. Onward, up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. Gotta just keep going on. <gasps> on and on you will hike. And I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems wherever you are. You'll get mixed up. Of course, as you already know, you'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft. And na never mix up your right from your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. Kid. You'll move mountains. You are all so awesome. And you all have great places to go. And as you leave weekday, one of the great places you're going to go is kindergarten. That's your next great place. And I know you guys are going to do an awesome job. You are so ready and so brainy. You're going to have so much fun. I'm very proud of all of you. One of our last projects that I have is a hot air balloon. This is the hot air balloon craft that you guys can make. So you can go to all the great places on your hot air balloon. Let me tell you what you need. I think you probably can guess, right? Do you know what that is? You will need two paper plates. Okay, one, two paper plates. You will need something to color with, markers or crayons, or you could color with watercolor. This is the balloon part, right? And I used marker to color it, but you can use watercolor, anything you'd like. And then you'll need um, a pair of scissors and a hole puncher and 
some string. So let me show you what you can do. So first you're going to take this plate and color it any way you want. Beautiful colors. Okay, just cover the whole thing so you don't see any white. Then you're going to take a second paper plate and you're going to cut out a square out of the bottom. Okay, somebody at home maybe can help you with that. Because this square that you cut out of the bottom is going to be the little basket at the bottom of the hot air balloon. So if you've ever seen, I don't know if you've ever seen a hot air balloon, but hot air balloons have a big balloon and then a basket is attached and people can go inside the basket and they can float way up high in the sky and see everything that is happening down below them. It's really fun. So we're going to make one of these by using a square cut out of the plate. That's going to be the bottom part. Okay, so you're going to color this in and then you can color in the square that you cut from the other plate. So usually um, a hot air balloon has a basket attached to the bottom of it. A really big basket so that people can stand in it. So I made mine look like a basket. I colored it brown and put some lines on it to get it to look like a basket. You can color it any way you like. So once you finish coloring those two pieces, then you're going to take a hole punch and put a hole on the top of your plate here and two holes at the bottom. Can you see that? All right, and then put two holes at the top of your basket with the hole punch. Then you're going to cut some string. You can use string or yarn. And you're going to tie the basket to the balloon. And you'll have a hot air balloon. I put a hole up on the top as well and put a string through it so you can carry it. And if you like, you can put a picture of yourself right on the basket. If you have any pictures of yourself, that would be fun. And you can pretend that you're flying in a hot air balloon. Isn't that great? I hope you guys have paper plates at home. But I did print out an outline of a hot air balloon that I will send home as well. So you could color that in too. If you like, you can color this in and then cut it out and place it on um, a blue piece of paper so it looks like it's floating up in the sky. And then you could color the blue paper, maybe put some birds on it or um, some clouds. And then it will look like a hot air balloon floating in the sky. I hope you have fun with our last project together. And think of all the great places you are going to go after you graduate from weekday. I will miss you very much, but I'm so happy for you all because we've had a great year. You've really grown up and I'm so proud of you. You guys are all so smart and so ready for the next place that you're going to go. And I will be at weekday next year, so you can always come back and visit. I would love to see you. So enjoy all the places you'll go.